going on, DJBooth.net? This is Kareem Julian, DJ Blaze, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a full, in-depth HD video review of the new Pioneer XDJ Arrow Digital DJ Mix Station. Okay, everyone, so here it is, the Pioneer XDJ Arrow Digital DJ Mix Station. And basically, this is a new device by Pioneer that allows DJs to play back music in many different ways. There's four basic ways that a DJ can use the Pioneer XDJ Arrow and you can also do these on the fly and in combination so all these different ways to play music are right at your fingertips all at once. And let's dive a little bit deeper into that for the general overall impressions. You have four different ways that you can play music here. There is the Record Box Way, which is the new application or new program developed by Pioneer that allows DJs to sort their music, situate their music and playlists in nice and intuitive ways. That way they're easy to navigate and play back at a later date. So you can play through Record Box um, software and basically you're allowed to sync up to four wireless Wi-Fi devices as long as you're all on the same network or you're all on the Pioneer XDJ Aero network. Um, this will actually broadcast a signal as a hotspot and the four different devices will be able to log in to the Record Box single software and that way these devices will be able to transfer files wirelessly audio files wirelessly uh, directly over the Wi-Fi network and directly onto either deck one or deck two of your choice within the software. So the type of devices that you're allowed to pair to the XDJ Aero is the smartphones that is allowed to accept the app, the record box app, um, laptops, tablets, and basically any device that you can get on your Wi-Fi network that is compatible with the record box application. So record box comes bundled with the unit very nice software allows you to situate all your playlists and all your tracks very easily so you can find them later and you're allowed to play them and load them directly on to the XDJ Aero. The next way, the second way that you're allowed to play music back is through MIDI. Um, this is a full MIDI controller. Um, there is a Tractor Pro 2 mapping available to you on the Pioneer DJ website. In order to start that off you just click MIDI and then you can select to be deck A and you can also select either to be deck B but you can also play in a hybrid of modes you don't always have to be in MIDI mode only one controller can be in MIDI mode and the other one could be playing your record box software so you're allowed to mix between the two um, also the third way to play is via USB there's a USB slot here right at the top with a USB stop button in order to stop the file playback or a master record button which allows you to record your total mix directly to the USB. So here's a nice USB flash that we'll plug directly into the unit. And we have these LCD screens which will let you navigate the files to your folders. And that way you can select the songs of your choice. And the fourth and final way to play is as an actual two-channel serious DJ mixer. Uh, basically, you don't have to use these decks in conjunction with this unit at all. You can just use the standalone mixer, which gives you three band EQs with full kill capability. You get your filter knobs, your nice two-channel faders, your crossfader, and you're allowed to plug in your decks into the rear of the unit and use this as just a regular DJ mixer. You can flip the switch over to phone or a line which now turns this into just a regular channel on a mixer. You can do that to each side individually meaning this way you can flip back and forth between all four play modes all at the same time. So to continue on with the overall impressions of the unit, physically it's a very nice unit. I like the construction of the XDJ Arrow better than the previous DDJ S1, the DDJ T1, and the DDJ Ergo. It's a little bit thinner, but it just feels like it's built a little more solidly. It feels like it's going to last a little bit longer than those. Um, all of your actual knobs have a real metal post underneath, very high quality. 
Um, your jog wheels are a little bit different here. We'll dive into that later. But everything just feels a little bit better, feels a little more sure-footed, like it's going to last a little bit longer than the previous DDJ offerings from Pioneer. Alright, next up from build quality, we'll go with setup. Um, the setup is as easy as or as hard as you want to make it, um, depending on how you're going to use it. Of course, if you're going to use USB and you just want to share the USB files that are here, you can just click USB and you're ready to go. You connect your RCA or your quarter inch outputs and then you connect that to the amp or power speakers and you're ready to go. If you want to use this as a MIDI controller, as we talked about earlier, you have to connect your USB cable to your computer. Um, you have to load up the software of your choice. The actual XDJ Arrow comes with your software um, drivers. That way you have your drivers for your Windows machines. For Mac it's just plug and play. And it also comes with your record box software as well. Um, your record box software will allow you to arrange your music and set up your playlist and play the music back just using record box as well. And when you are using it in MIDI mode you do have to download a mapping file um, available on the Pioneer website again there's a Tractor Pro 2 mapping file which worked rather well and if you want to use another software with it you have to map it on your own okay next up we're gonna go over the inputs and outputs and all the connections that they have on the XDJ Arrow first up all the way to the left you have your master RCA output or your master quarter inch balanced output it's either one or the other as you can see there's no booth output here one of my minor gripes with the issues is that there's no booth output for different DJs who need them for monitoring needs other inputs you have a phono 1 line 1 and a phono 2 line 2 RCA input one for each channel um, you can switch it between line and phono individually so you can have a combination of record and CD style decks um, you also have your ground post here for your vinyl style decks. Um, next up you have a Kensington lock area. And then there is a quarter inch microphone input along with your microphone gain knob here as well. On the front you have the two band EQ for your mic along with the microphone volume control. Also on the unit they have one single USB slot. This is for your flash and hard drives. Um, the single slot will be shared between your two different decks on the Pioneer XDJ Aero. And last but not least in the front we have your headphone outputs. You have your quarter inch or your eighth inch selection as usual. Okay so after setup we'll continue on to the mixing portion of the controller or of the mix station and here you have a very similar layout and feel to the new Pioneer DJM250. It's almost like having a real Pioneer DJM250 mixer right here in the heart of the XDJ Aero. You have really nice sharp crossfader with low cut in distance. You have your crossfader curve control when set to the sharpest set setting. It's very easy to do all your crab scratches, all your really quick and swift movements. You can set it to a gradual fade or you can set it to through whereas the actual crossfader has no bearing whatsoever. You have your two line faders which have a little bit more resistance to them. Very nice and high quality. Again, every post that you see here underneath these knobs are all metal reinforced. You have your filter knobs, low and high pass filter all in one knob on each side. They work um, no matter what mode you're using the unit in. You have your three band EQs with full kill. Um, you also have a master level knob. Again, there's no booth level knob here because there's no booth output. You have your trim selectors here for your gain. Um, you also have to your right your microphone controls with your microphone volume control and your low high tone EQ control and a mic on and off switch. To your left you have your Q section and this is where you'll cue things up in your headphones. Channel 1 Q, channel 2 Q to listen to what is in the background and here's your volume control knob for your headphones and your Q master level mix knob. Each channel you can switch to either be a deck mode which means you're using the actual deck or you're using your phono one and line one um, inputs on the back. Same goes for deck two. You can switch these on the fly and you can mix between the two types. You can plug in your record decks and your CD decks 
and you'll be ready to spin with those just as well. Okay, next up we have the actual decks themselves. Each deck is laid out identically to the other one. They're not like flipped or mirrored. They are the same. I like that layout personally. Um, you have your new jog wheels. Now the old jog wheels on the DDJ S1, the T1, and the Ergo uh, were push style top similar to the, the CDJ's uh, the earlier models or the lower models. Um, but these are something brand new. They are uh, pressure um, actually sensitive to, or touch sensitive platters where they can actually feel your every move. They're very high resolution. They work well throughout any mode that you use them in. Even in the tractor mapping, the the actual one-to-one -one operation was very, very close. Wasn't perfect. Everybody knows it's really hard to get those mappings perfect for jog wheels, but it was very, very close. And they work very, very nicely. You have a metal top to them and they just feel better. They have a little bit of a maybe wobble to them, but nothing that is unprofessional, nothing that feels like they're not going to last. Very nice high resolution on the jog wheels. They're very nice to scratch with, very nice to actually back cue and juggle with side to side, and they just feel really good. They also have LED indicators, which let you know when you're actually in the mix or not. <laughs> So, got some really good high quality jog wheels here. Kudos to Pioneer for changing up that design. I like it very much. We have your similar Pioneer look and feel play, pause button, cue buttons, and your shift in order to switch between different styles of button pressing. And we also have your master sync button that will work with your record box software in order to get your tracks synced as long as they have the BPM encoded through the record box software. Um, next up you have your auto loop and your auto loops are set just by pressing the button. You can turn them up or down to grow or shrink the auto loop. Um, we also have your effects select here. Um, you get four effects on board per deck. You get trans, transform, flanger, echo, and roll. And then you have a beat and a level depth knob. These two knobs will let you adjust the parameters of the actual effect that you're using. Next up you have your screen, up at the top is great for navigation, shows you your time remaining or your uh, time, current time in the track. Uh, you have your loop parameters down here along with your FX parameters as well displayed. Um, when the actual platter or the record is spinning, in order to give you a needle indicator there's a little LED strip here at the top. There's no real way to see when the platter is spinning, there's no rings or anything here. So instead of that they have like a LED strip indicator that lets you know where you're at. Also, you have four banks of sampler built on board when you're using this in USB or record box mode. Um, you can just launch your samples. It will actually bring you out of your current deck play mode. So make sure you don't launch a sample on a deck that's actually playing because now we're in launch sample mode. And you, you can do whatever you want to do to the samples. You can scratch them, you can beat juggle them, you can uh, beat match them. Anything you want to do with the samples you're allowed to. Um, get it back out of sample mode. Now you're back in your regular deck mode and continue playing your song. Alright, next up, uh, again we have your quantize mode for a record box. Um, and you also have other buttons here for information and utility. And you have your navigation control knobs to the right of the actual screen. This is a nice encoder where you can feel every little bump for your next track or your next file. And you have a back button up top. Okay, so in conclusion, we have a very, very nice 
digital DJ setup here. There's so many options, so many ways that you're allowed to use the Pioneer X DJ Arrow. Um, it almost overwhelms you with as many options as you have. And the fact that you can go between all these different four different types of play styles on the fly individually between each deck is just phenomenal. Uh, you have a really good build quality, better than your average DDJ build quality. Nice size, nice form factor. You have your cool record box software. And honestly, I think this machine shines even better as a record box or USB type of uh, digital DJ device rather than a MIDI controller device. Of course, you can use it with your MIDI control. You can also use it as a standalone mixer. And if you want, you're using Tractor, you can add an additional sound card for Tractor. And you can get your DVS playback as well. And at the same time, you can also use the buttons for MIDI playback um, simultaneously. So there's a lot of options here. There's a lot of things going on that DJs are going to want, DJs are going to need. Um, one of my minor gripes with the unit is that there are no hot cues when you're playing back via USB. Um, I didn't find a way to actually engage any hot cues or s they don't save them uh, onto your USB while you're, while you're working. Um, but when you are in the software, your sample launches actually become hot cue banks in Tractor and your effects select um, correspond to your effects on board within Tractor. So depending on what mode you're in, you'll have a slightly different uses for some of the buttons and some of the knobs but it works very well for a MIDI controller very well as a USB playback option and it also plays back excellent excellently on the wireless record box software uh, we used the wireless record box software with laptops and with the iPhone and we were within about a 25 to 30 foot range we didn't get any dropouts with the audio whatsoever we didn't get any pops any crackles any hisses the wireless always worked and we were always within range of cell phones and within range of cordless phones and we had a lot of things that we thought would interfere with this but all the time we didn't have any issues whatsoever uh, pioneer assured us that if we did have an issue the music would continue to play back on a on beat loop that way you can keep it going um, even when you thought that you lost some of your audio. At least you still have a beat playing in the background. Um, you also have your auto mix button here, which if you forget to mix your song all the way at the last minute, the system will do it for you. Very nice feature. came in handy when I actually left the room, came back, and saw that the unit was doing a basic fade type mix for me. So it's a good unit for... Uh, anyone who really has many different ways that they want to try to play music, they want to use USB, they want to use MIDI, they want to use record box, and they just have a hybrid of DJ uses that they can get out of one single unit. You also have your opportunity to expand and grow. You have your standalone mixer options and a nice powerful three band EQ, good crossfaders, and really good jog wheels. Again, on the downside, um, the only minor gripe that I have is that there is no booth output for your monitoring conditions, and there's also no hot cues present when you're using your USB. Other than that, the unit was really fun to use. Uh, I was doing things that I haven't done in a very long time. Even juggling back and forth was really fun, and it was like a breath of fresh air, and it's very versatile and good for anyone who just needs that type of versatility when they're looking for a DJ setup. So for more on the full written review, head on over to www.djbooth.net slash DJS. You can also subscribe to me on Twitter. That way when you know exactly when the news and the new videos and reviews and documentation is coming out, that's at DJBlaze underscore DJ Booth. And keep on subscribing to the YouTube channel. That way you know exactly when these new videos are going to drop. You get a nice email in your inbox. And that username there is Real DJ Blaze. Thanks for watching.